people think I'm a bum. Man, why didn't you take up for me in there? Oh, listen to me. When the press is right, they're right. Right. Man, I'm as good as Babel ever was. I don't give a damn what they're saying. I'm tired of being called a damn robot, too. Listen to me, Tommy Gun. You can't fight the press. I can't oh, fight the dog. Yeah. I'd like to welcome you out to Q City World. And today we're going to be talking about Tyson Fury telling Anthony Joshua not to fight Wilder. First of all, man, what the fuck is you doing, Tyson Fury? You just come back in from a two-year motherfucking break. And now, you want to try to tell Anthony Joshua to duck Deontay Wilder? That's some bullshit, man. Some bullshit, man. After they just fucked you over? <laughs> they suspended you from boxing for two fucking years. They let Anthony Joshua get your titles. That don't make no sense. But I understand where you're coming from. You know Anthony Joshua is going down in the third round. Tyson Fury told Anthony Joshua, he said, look man, don't take the Wilder fight. It's too dangerous. It ain't enough money in that fight before making our fight. If you come into our fight undefeated, the winner of our fight will go over there and fight Wilder. <coughs> At the same time, Anthony Joshua can't wait on Tyson Fury. Cause Tyson Fury gotta get a warm up fight, no matter what it takes. He gotta get it. Look how fat he is. He can't even jog. He gotta walk still. The dude looking good. You know what I mean? His movement looking good. He looked the same. He just gotta lose that weight. I think he can come back and probably be better. But at the same time, he need warm up fight. So he can't just wait on you. Then they was talking about, Tyson Fury was talking about, well, if he fight, Joseph Parker, that's a dangerous fight too. He said, Joseph Parker is hard as rocks. He said, Joseph Parker is not an easy fight for Anthony Joshua. And we all know that. We believe that that fight really could mess up the Deontay Wilder fight. You know what I mean? I think he could lose that fight against Joseph Parker. And so, it's crazy out here, bro. But at the end of the day, AJ, you know, I think he's going to end up taking Wilder to fight first. But, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing you fight Tyson Fury, but at the end of the day, who will Wilder fight? Oh, it don't matter. Wilder been beating up bums. Hey, yo, Wilder, fuck these niggas, man. Just go ahead and get your beat Floyd record, nigga. With all our knockouts. Don't even worry about it. Just keep on fighting. Fuck these niggas, they scared. Boxes is full of pussies, man. They talking about money. God damn. I mean... Tyson Fury first fight back against Tony Bell, you would be good, you know. But Tony Bell, you don't seem like a real heavyweight to me. This on the bottom. And David Hayes is finished. He's old. It's over for him. Ain't nothing he can do. Bones is old. And he needs to drink some more milk or something, man. Every fight, he's going to be injured. It's finished. When I look at the Klitschko fight, versus Anthony Joshua, and compare it to the Klitschko fight versus Tyson Fury, I see that Tyson Fury is way more of an elite fighter than Anthony Joshua. He beat the shit out of a younger Klitschko. Klitschko was scared to run in. Klitschko almost got knocked the fuck out when he did try to run in at the end. I mean, he got nice reach. I mean, this boy beats elite fighters easy. You know what I mean? But I think the, he know that the Wilder fight is dangerous fight for Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury know that itself. You know what I mean? And he see what everybody else see. You know what I mean? Anthony Joshua do not want to get in that ring with that monster. Simple ass. I mean, but this shit remind me of the Ali. I say Tyson Fury is the Ali. And when Ali first came back after the Vietnam situation, he fought two fights, right? Then he fought Frazier, right? He had to get two warm-up fights, then he fought Frazier, and Frazier beat him. After he beat him, Frazier went out and fought the one and only George Foreman, an Alabama fighter like Deontay Wilder. Big, tall, wild, hard swinging motherfucker. Frazier went and lost to George Foreman, and after Frazier lost to George Foreman, Ali fought George Foreman, and Ali beat Foreman easy. Could this be history repeating itself? Never know. It's like Joseph Parker ain't even thinking about fighting Deontay Wilder. I wouldn't blame him though. Cause when he fought Huey Fury, him and Huey Fury look like they don't even belong in the same ring as a fighter like Deontay Wilder. I ain't gonna lie. You know, but um, you know, 
It's sad, man. Boxing is very sad, man. Tyson Fury, I mean, we don't need you hating on Deontay Wilder, man. You know how they be hating already, so we don't need that. They might have did some conspiracy shit on your ass, though, to keep you out the ring for two years. Because these motherfuckers popping steroids, they only out the ring for six months. So why they taking you out the ring for two years? That was some bogus ass shit. You know what I mean? But whatever. I don't know nothing about that situation. But, um, yeah, man. So, Deontay Wilder, my advice to you is to keep knocking motherfuckers out. You know, um, give remains to Vine. Uh, third, another try, man. Because he said you hit him in the back of the head, man. So, you know, if I was y'all get that man another fight, you know what I mean? You still gonna do some good numbers on Showtime. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. I mean, Ortiz, whatever. We're gonna knock that old motherfucker out. Whatever, man. Just get your, get your 55 KOs, you know what I mean? Undefeated record. Retire like that, man. Easy money, man. These niggas scared, man. I'll fight five times a year. In two years, you can get 10, that's 10 fights. You'll be at 50 and 0, man. All knockouts, man. Easy work, man. It ain't your fault. You gotta fight these bombs. These so-called good niggas is running. So what you gonna do? You feel me? What you gonna do? Kidnap them? Tie them up? <laughs> Bring them to the ring? I don't even think Dylan White really want that work. That nigga was on some UK uh, sports channel and shit. He was looking through the camera talking about Wilder. His eyes was looking funny, man. His body language wasn't right, man. I think I think Wilder I have a hard time getting that Dylan White fight. I mean, it's like a lot of cookies out here, man. A lot of ice cream, sundaes, strawberry shortcakes, apple pie. These niggas is fruity like bubble gum, softer than pillows. These niggas is fragile like eggshell. I mean, what's so hard about making a motherfucking fight? What's so hard about wanting to be the motherfucking champion? Niggas ain't got no heart no more. They're ready to go fight whoever. These niggas are soft. Y'all talking about uh, these boxing channels is talking about boxers. Yeah, we dogging these soft ass niggas because these niggas ain't boxers no more, man. We don't want the new generation to come up thinking that this shit is cool. That's, if you supporting some bullshit like that, dog. You supporting these boxers that don't want to make the real fight. Why they young? I don't, I'm tired of these 38 year old motherfucking boxers, dog. Niggas don't want to see Ortiz old ass fighting, man. You know what I mean? The nigga already didn't pop, got caught trying to mask steroids and got caught using steroids. I mean, how many chances a motherfucker get? Tyson Fury, weak ass on coke. You know what I mean? They suspended his ass for two motherfucking years. You know what I mean? I don't know if the nigga failed multiple drug tests or what. You know what I mean? All I know is cocaine, that's a horrible drug. You know what I mean? Act Rick James, you know what I mean? I think steroids, it's, it's, these motherfuckers should be banned for about five years, nigga. This nigga too goddamn old anyway. The nigga probably 50, man, with no mustache. I don't trust motherfuckers that don't got no mustache. But everybody want to be undefeated. Being undefeated don't make you no star, dog. That's not the blueprint. That's not boxing. You feel me? It's fucking was rare to have an undefeated boxer. And, and Tyson Fury, we going to see what you got, nigga. Yeah, nigga, we going to let you get your little warm-up fights. But you know you got to come over America no matter what. So if you want to beat up Anthony Joshua, go ahead. You beat up Anthony Joshua. You the real champ. You deserve that chance. You feel me? You get your titles back. But you feel like if Anthony Joshua go lose to Wilder, it's a chance that you may never, ever, 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 see your titles again. Because that be the real reason you weather for Anthony Joshua to make the fight with you before fighting Wilder. I believe so. You know what I mean? Because I know you don't give a fuck about no money. You ain't in it for the money. That ain't the type of fighter you is. After you beat Klitschko, you act like the motherfucking world And You was in the ring crying to your wife, singing and shit. It was like a retirement party. Now you want to come back. Now you want to tell a nigga, don't fight that nigga, fight me. You know what I mean? Now, nigga, you lost your motherfucking hunger, nigga. Yeah, nigga. It's all good, though. I feel you, though. How many
face facts. You're in his shadow. I don't know if there's any way out. Man, this is your own man. No, 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 no. Listen to me. There's a way for you to get the respect you deserve, but what you got to do is challenge Balboa to fight man to man. That's right. George, you can set this fight up abroad in a matter of weeks. Oh, uh, yeah, it'd be the greatest fight ever. Teach against you. Old lion against young lion. And it's the only way you're ever going to get peace of mind, because believe me when I tell you, that press is going to hound you with that man's legend for as long as you dare to wear a boxing glove. you got to get him into that ring, Tommy Gunn. Or you're going to be getting questioned like you heard tonight for the rest of your life. Then you're going to start to ask yourself, could I really take him? Am I really good enough? Do people really think I'm a cheap carbon copy or a second-rate pretender who only got a shot because of my skin tone? Got to challenge that man to fight Tommy Gunn. And if he refuses, then you got to insult him. you got to dog him. you got to humiliate him. you got to do whatever you got to do to get him into that ring. But that's what you got to 